Have your matchboxes ready so that you can try all the exercises in this lesson. That way you will make your own discoveries and not rely on what we have discovered. It is always useful to look at a simple two-dimensional shape first. Here is the rectangle we used in an earlier lesson. We found its area quite easily by using length times breadth or base times height. It was 3 times 6 which comes to 18 square units. Now if I double the length and the breadth of this rectangle, how will this affect the area of the new shape I have made? How much bigger do you expect the area will be? Is the area double of 18 square units? If we are right, that should come to 36 square units. Well, let's work it out. The breadth becomes 6 units and the length becomes 12 units. And 6 times 12 gives us 72 square units. The new shape is actually 4 times bigger than the original shape. Look again. This does make sense because doubling this side and this side allows us to fit our first shape into these parts of the new shape four times. Does this happen with every shape that has all its sides doubled? You need to test this idea out with the other shapes we have investigated in this series. What happens to the area if you double all the dimensions of a parallelogram or a triangle or a kite or a trapezium? Can you draw conclusions about what effect doubling of dimensions has on the total surface area of these shapes? I will leave this investigation to you to do as your task. This prism has a length of three units, a breadth of one unit and a height of two units. What is the total surface area of this prism? Let's take one square as a square unit. Then we can just count the squares. There are three here on top and another three underneath. Six on each of these sides and two on either end. That makes 12 plus 6 plus 4 square units, which comes to 22 square units. If we double all the dimensions of the structure, what do you expect to find about the new total surface area? Will it be doubled or more? How much more? This length becomes 6, this length becomes 4 and this length here becomes 2 units. Do you agree? We have doubled each length of the original prism. Doubling all the lengths makes the structure a whole lot bigger. Do you think the surface area has been doubled or perhaps enlarged 4 times or 8 times more? The surest way of knowing is to count the blocks. Remember that each one is a square unit. We get 12 on the top and the bottom, 24 here and here, and 8 on each end. That's 24 and 48 and 16, which comes to 88 square units. 88 is 4 times as much as 22. So doubling all the dimensions of the original structure creates a surface area that is four times more than the surface area of the original structure. What is interesting here is that areas are measured in square units. The total surface area is a squared measurement. Squaring lengths that are doubled results in an area four times bigger. So if the length the breadth and the height are all doubled, it is not surprising that the area is four times bigger.